Hey everybody. Well, the gentleman who says I sent the wire for these bikes didn't send the wire for these bikes. So I guess it's play with Todd week. I don't know. I, I've never had that happen before. But the main reason I'm making this video is to say, hey, these are for sale. I'm on the way to Oli. I can deliver anywhere between now and the East Coast. And I want everybody to see how clean this bike actually is because it was filled with road grime. I had no way to wrap it up when I bought it. So it got covered with the, all the crap out there. You can see how clean the rear wheel is, rear fender. I gotta take the bags off because the rear end bounces if I don't tie it down. So I'm gonna have to tie it down here and cross like that to keep this from bouncing. So I'm gonna drive 2,700, 3,000 miles, something like that going across country. So we're leaving today. Again, this is a second owner, 13,000 mile, 63. It's not perfect, but it's incredibly nice. And a little bit of polish, a little bit of chrome polish, it'll clean all this up. It'll clean it up beautiful. All you gotta do is polish it out, assuming you want it real polished. Some people like the, the age and the patina. Everybody's different. But this bike could clean up just absolutely incredible and of course we got our 55 FLE one of 201 made you know this is an actual original paint New York police bike Mike Wolf found it hopefully I'll see Mike there and I can get the story out of him he's not calling me back probably not recognizing my number too many people bug him that's what happens when you get too dumbass famous so anyways a beautiful 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 motorcycle so it has the aluminum push rods. Just gorgeous, gorgeous bike. Last little look before they get wrapped in the blankie. So <clears throat> we'll give you another video once it's wrapped. Because we're gonna hit some weather and they're gonna not be looking too good if I don't wrap them up. So I have to make sure that the ties are done in such a way where they're not going to move because I won't be able to reach in there and see what's going on. And you can do it if you know what you're doing. I've done it many, many times. But you better be good. You're going to mess up your motorcycles. So, my bags are going in the van. We be all wrapped up. And again, it runs good. They both run good, but they need to be serviced. Anything that's been sitting for decades, I don't care if it's a shovel head, I don't care if it's an Evo, you gotta service it. I mean, by 94, we built the fork, we, we did the neck bearings, the wheel bearings, you know. You went, we went through the whole bike, at the top end off, at the timing cover off, you follow me? It only had 7,800 miles on it. You gotta service the motorcycle. That's just standard, standard, standard procedure. But, you know, I, I wish I'd won the lotto. I'd just keep them and enjoy them. <laughs> I love them. And then, again, there's, there isn't one original paint bike that I've ever had or had a chance of buying. I was like, oh, I want to keep it for myself. I wish. I'm just not in that financial position. So the 55 FLE is for sale. The 63 FL is for sale. If you're interested, email me, huntingharleys at gmail.com. That's huntingharleys at gmail.com. Huntingharleys at gmail.com. Or call me, text me, 661-904-8512. 661-904-8512. And for those of you who followed me on Instagram, they took all my Hunting Harleys feeds for telling the truth about Trump, which is all coming out now. I was right told you so you can follow me under my name Todd Bertrang on Instagram we upload 20 to 50 cool pictures every day and this FLE still has the original keys how you like that a police bike with original keys where the fuck do you get that I mean you don't you don't so very cool stuff and again our 63 is a Dudley Perkins special. Wow. I've never had another one. Super cool. Super cool. So, 
<clears throat> and in case you're wondering, there are people who can repair that seat. You'll never ever know that it had these tears in the side. This can be repaired very easy. They can restitch it, replace the foam if you want. This bike with a little breathe on could just be like, wow. Oh my God, wow. And before I forget, somebody at some point, probably the original owner made this a kill switch. This is on, press it down, it's off. So it's, so it's got a secret kill switch to it, okay? So that's that. And uh, I mean, there's almost no rust. I mean, look at the mirrors. Wow, when do you get mirrors on a 63 that aren't rusted out? So very cool, hope to see you guys soon. And uh, again, it does have one little dent here, a good dent guy can take that out, you'll never see it. And one little dent on the rear fender. Back here, somebody took off or never had the overload springs. They don't have them, didn't come with the bike. And this, for those who are unaware, this is the first year of this style factory turn signal. What happened is you all of a sudden had laws and most of them were all, I don't know if it's all the states, starting in 63. If you remember Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill had these type of turn signals because of the law that came out. So I was born in 62, so I'm not really aware of it. it was a national law or a mostly state by state law, but all of a sudden you had to have turn signals. And that's the Harley kit. And here's your blinkies for it right and left so um super cool motorcycle guys super cool motorcycle i am on the way to Oli. i will see everybody there very soon we'll be at the rmc overflow that's the reading motorcycle club it's a mile away you'll see me riding doo-doo around on this bikey here and uh we're gonna get our butt over there all the way across country Bye-bye.